Good morning, third year, and I've got something brand new for you this week. We're not going to do a drawing this week. Um, we're going to do something completely different. I'm going to get you thinking about looking at some artwork online um, and then trying to find a famous painting to try and recreate. That's what I want you to do. You may have seen this thing on Instagram uh, lately about taking a famous painting and then trying to set it up at home and recreating it. Have a look at this video first of all and then I'm going to show you some examples that we've been doing in the art department. go oh they're so cool aren't they they're just so good and the reason I wanted to show you the video is because it shows you how they came up with them so it shows you the props the screen for example where the girl put loads of fabric down to create the hills and then she lay in front of the fabric and pulled her hood up and screamed to make it look like the screen so it shows you the stages they went through to create the pose now you don't have to do that you don't have to do a video unless you want to I'd love to see videos time-lapse videos or real-time videos, whatever you want. If you want to sort of rehearse something over and over with someone watching and getting it right, send me a little video. That would be brilliant, but you don't have to do that. You can just do a straightforward photograph. Um, spend a while getting it all ready and then getting somebody to photograph that for you. Now, I thought to myself, what would be quite fun now would be to show you what we've been doing in the art department because we're asking you to do something that we've been doing for fun over the last few months. So you may remember Mr Knox, um, you're what you now third year. So in second year, 
Hmm, some of you may have had him in first year, but I'm in his room now in the, in the art department, in his old room. Um, there you go. <laughs> so you can see that it works well with a really famous painting. You've got to pick a painting that everyone's going to recognise. If the painting is just something obscure by some artist from Poland that no one's ever heard of or something, I don't know, then it's not going to work as well. It works if it's something people recognise. <laughs> so we have to go outside for that one, for the, for the clouds. Okay, so here's my effort. This is the painting I wanted to try and recreate. And my goodness, it was difficult because dogs do not stand in the way you want them to stand. As you'll know, if you have any pets, they just kept wanting to lie down and I was almost hauling Blue to her feet in my picture here. <laughs> Alice kept trying to sit, Blue kept trying to lie down and I was trying to look all relaxed and stare across here where I was meant to be looking. Anyway, that was my effort. Here's a very famous painting by an artist called Vermeer, Girl with a Pearl Earring. And here's Mrs. Brown, who you might have had in first year. Here's a very famous painting by an artist called Frida Kahlo, who we study in fourth year. Subportrait with Monkey. And we all know who this lady is. <laughs> so it can be quite funny. Like she's got she's got a cuddly monkey, right? But you can see Mrs. Lawson's tried really hard to get the same the same clothing. So Frida Kahlo's got a sort of creamy goldy top with a white black, sorry, with a black vest top type thing with straps over the top of it and this red ribbon. And she's tried to do the same thing. So it can be quite lighthearted. It doesn't have to be um, exact, you know. Uh, if you think about the videos that you just watched, some of them involved um, just daft interpretations. So... Well, not daft, actually, quite creative. So the, the Magritte painting, which was the figure of the man in a business suit with an apple in front of his face. And the modern recreation had the man in a business suit, but holding up an Apple laptop. So the apple was right over his face. And I thought that's a really fun, clever, modern way to interpret something from 100 years ago. So this is what I want you to try and have a go at. Please don't think you have to do a portrait. Um, you could do a still life, you know, uh, because the, the portrait ones, I'm not sure if I'm going to be allowed to share those because they'll have your face in them. So I'll need to ask Mr. Reed about that. But if we're allowed to share them anonymously, then that would be great. But look at here. Here's a whole bunch here. Just check out Portrait Challenge Instagram Art Recreation or just Art Recreation Instagram, something like that. And you'll find loads of examples of people that have done this. <laughs> They're quite funny, quite a lot of them. There's people, oh look, someone's done their dog. If you want to do a, <laughs> if you want to do an animal, I don't mind. I, I think this has got to be fun and it's got to be um, your interpretation. Who knows what you've got in your house that other people might not have, in which case it could work really well for you, you know? Anyway, have a look through these to get some ideas. And if you don't want to do um, a face, have a look at still life paintings and ask yourself, could you just recreate a still life painting? But try and make sure it's quite a famous one. I've just typed in here famous still life paintings. This is by Cezanne. And Cezanne has got a lot of, you know, quite often put skulls and fruit in his paintings. So this would work if you had a wooden table that looked a bit like that, a white cloth, a dark wall, a little triangular something hanging down at the back and then pears and things but then maybe you've got a toy skull at home pop it there it doesn't have to be real you know it could be something quite um cartoonish or quite fun so basically the trick here is look around your house and see what sort of objects do you have and then are there any famous paintings you can think of where that would work quite well okay and have lots and lots of fun with it i'm warning you now my one took me about four hours <laughs> which is ridiculous really. I can't quite believe that, but it did. Um, and Mrs. Lawson said that took her forever as well. It just takes a long time to get, you know, Mrs. Brown's thought about the clothes she's wearing here. Do you see? Like creamy color, blue and cream. She's, she's tried to get it very similar. She's got the earring obviously. And when I did mine, I spent forever arranging fruit in this bowl and, and these white flowers here on this wooden table to make it look like that. But you know, it's the best I could do. I didn't have a, a bronze 
planter or whatever that is. Anyway, there you go. I need to stop now because that's, um, that's an awful lot of talking. That's what I want you to try and do and have fun doing it and send me a photo or send me a, a few photos or send me a video uh, to try and put onto this uh, film that I'm trying to make for YouTube. So bye everybody, enjoy yourselves and see you soon.